the thing about that really characterizes this bridge is that no one is indifferent to it. Many people love it, some people hate it, but no one is indifferent to it. I use it every day. Uh, it means I don't have to go on the road, so I feel safe. It's like King David's harp, and uh, it's a significant monument in, uh, in Jerusalem. Jerusalem needs uh, modern architecture, but uh, it adds uh, value to it. Modern and um, antiquity fits uh, very well. And it's really like a harp, and when I, every time when I, when I walk, um, you know, past this bridge, I, I'm thinking of, you know, I'm walking through uh, a historical uh, architecture. It reminds me somewhat of, of a sailboat, a big, tall sailing ship, actually, and, and yet with the light rail going by, then it kind of reminds me of Space Age, so it's kind of a nice mix. It's a new icon, uh, uh, near the old uh, icon, it's, and it's a, a symbol to the a movement of Jerusalem from old city to international city. If the simple people and the tourists come and they take picture of the bridge uh, after they taking picture picture in the hotel on the old city, so it's definitely come to be a, a new icon in uh, Jerusalem, and it's the first steps to make Jerusalem international city. There is a plan for intensive development, for very tall buildings, a traffic hub where two lines of the light rail will meet. The heavy rail coming from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem will arrive at that point and there will be tall office buildings and hotels uh, in that uh, precinct. It somehow creates a new pattern for how we look at the way we move around in our city and how we look at our landscape.